Welcome to our tutorial about using the grid in Inventor. If you don't see the grid on your workspace, go to the Tools tab. Click Application Options on the Options panel. Let's go to the Sketch tab. Under Display Area, check Grid Lines. If you like, check Minor Grid Lines. Let me cancel out of this window now. On our workspace, the thicker grid lines are the major lines. The thinner lines are the minor lines. Since we're working in inches, the grid is grouped by eights. Let's select Zoom to Window. We'll make a selection of one of the quadrants. Let's go back to Application Options. On the Sketch tab, check Snap to Grid, and click OK. Now let's create a few lines. Right-click and Done. Here's our second line. And one more line. Let's snap again to this quadrant and then to this one. And right click and done. Now let's dimension our three lines. And the third line. Right click and done. Here are our three lines. The first line is one inch, the second is an eighth of an inch, and the third is three eighths of an inch. Let's go back to the Tools tab. This time choose Document Settings and to the Units tab. As I mentioned previously, we are working in inches. Let's go to the Sketch tab. Snap Spacing. Currently it's set to 1 16th of an inch. This value sets the snap point settings for the X and Y directions, and they can be different. Let's change the X direction value, let's say to 1 8th of an inch. OK. Now let's go to the Grid Display Control area. Here we can set the spacing between lines. The distance between the lines isn't set in inches, but in snaps. We can specify as well where we want the major lines to appear. Currently, the major lines are eight minor lines apart. And we're ready to click OK and go back to our document. Let's zoom in a little bit more. And let's go back to Sketch and the Line tool. This little yellow dot near the cursor shows the snap point. It's every eighth of an inch in the X direction and every sixteenth of an inch in the Y direction. The way I've set this up might seem a little bit confusing, so let me adjust it a bit. We'll go back to the Tools tab and click on Document Settings. Now let's change the grid display to one snap per minor line instead of two. Apply. Now we've got one snap per grid line here, or one eighth in the X direction. While we've got the document settings dialog window open, let's change it back to two. Apply. Now we've got one line for every two snap spaces, or every quarter of an inch. Let me move the document settings window so you can better see the workspace. Here we've got four lines now per inch instead of eight lines per inch. Let's return to our original settings. Apply and close. And this concludes our tutorial about setting up the grid in Inventor.